for sale. One of the least controversial vows is the kit vow, with over 70% of us agreeing it is the near-close front unrounded vow. Those using the schwa may have a kit comma merger. The ripples of the kit dress merger can be seen on this chart too. The other vows are mostly misapproximations, except for the open mid back vow. Uh, I really don't know why some people are saying this word is cut. At a guess, it could be a result of a kit schwa merger coupled with a strut schwa merger. But hey, there's some strange accents out there. Never want to be blue. The happy vow has only four alternatives. Those who have not merged it with the fleece vow tend to keep it short in many cases merging it with the kit vow instead. Note how whereas the kit vow was the near close front vow, the happy vow is much more likely to be the close front vow. The fleece vow is even more likely to be the close front unrounded vow than the happy vow. Quite a number of accents slide this vow. For those of you wondering how the near open central vow ended up on this chart, that's a result of people who say the words flee and fly the same. They're using the price vow in this word, thus they say it as fleece rather than fleece. Before adding the American accents to the dataset, the schwa was clearly in the lead for the near vow. This reflects how the majority of the world's English accents consider this vowel a diphthong. Apart from its use before er, some accents may also use it in words like vehemence and vehicle. This makes the near diphthong quite distinct from the consecutive vowels in the name Ian. Both may be found in the word Nigerian. So it is necessary to keep the historic rune air for this sound. The sprinkling of other phones we find on this chart are all the results of misapproximation. But should you use this rune if you don't say the near vowel as a diphthong? Well, first let's consider whether you have the mirror nearer merger. If you do, then the word serious, as in I'm being serious, will sound the same as the star constellation Sirius. If they sound different, then you don't have the merger. In that case, the star constellation Sirius uses the kit vowel followed by er. Write that as is double rad, preferably as a bind rune, as you would for the letter vowel, or the vowel in merry as opposed to merry. But write the word Sirius as in I'm being serious, with the near vowel followed by rad if you use er. That is, right er rad. The reason for this is that the long form of the kit vowel doesn't exist except as an allophone of the near vowel. But what if you're using the happy or fleece vowel in this position? There are a few rare accents where the vowel in weir is considered distinct from the near vowel. If that's you, then use EO for your weir vowel. Otherwise, if the vowel sounds like the vowel in near and it's rhotic, use the rune air followed by rad. Of course, if you do have the mirror nearer merger, so you're saying mirror and nearer, then given how you're unable to distinguish these sounds, you may as well just use the near vowel in this position whenever it occurs before rad. Some people will notice your accent as a result, but that occurs for all of us from time to time. 